Welcome to this quick tutorial on making and exporting a remix deck set. We're going to go over the basics of how to create, capture what we're able to use in a remix deck set and how to save it, then export it, and then hopefully share it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. The first thing I like to do before I even get into Tractor and start building my remix deck sets is to open Mixed and Key and to add the files to be analyzed to make sure they're all in the same key range. As you can see here, um, these songs I've loaded, most of them are in the same key except for this one here that says it's in a different key. So if we click on it and look closer, you can see most of the song is in the same key but I'm assuming here in the chorus it, it steps up or down a key here, but it's good for the Camelot scale. If you jump two keys, it adds energy to your mix. So this is actually good to know here that at this point we can add energy to this mix by jumping up to this key. So once I've analyzed these songs, I have the key, I have their tempos, I'm going to import these into my tractor collection. Now that I'm in Tractor, I go and find the songs in my browser view, the ones I want to import into my collection. Um, as you can see, I've, I have key added up here so that I can see which key all my songs are in. really helps during sets to know where I'm going to go and which key I'm in so that everything sounds good when I mix it together. So basically, I'm going to click here, hold shift, click here, right click, so I have them all selected and then I'm going to import into my collection as tracks. And now that I've imported them into my tractor collection, I'm just going to take and drag these over into a playlist I created so they're easy to find when I'm having them put into deck A here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through, listen to the song, and I'm going to take my F1 and I'm going to capture beats, melodies, vocals that I find interesting and I like just to run through the song in real time and try to capture those in either um, four beat counts, eight beat counts and um, those are really good counts to do and from there we can start building our remix deck set. Now that I have my songs in my playlist here I've taken this top one I've loaded into Deck A here. And what I'm going to do is there's two ways to do this. If you have a Control 1, you can click the Capture button, use your knob to choose the selection size of the capture, and go through and do it manually by listening, hitting Capture on all the little pads. And that's a very quick, real-time way to do it. I even do that when I'm live at sets. I can go through and have my cue points, I know what parts of the songs I like. That way I'm not stuck to a remix deck set um, when I'm playing live. I just know my cue points and the pieces I want to capture live. Um, another way to do it is you can do it here in your software if you um, don't have the Control F1. You know, simply just start. You know, like this here, you just start a loop. Sounds good. Take this, drag it. set here to different beats. And what I'll do is go through and do this with all of these songs, find all the different beats and all the melodies. And then also here, I have an acapella I found online. I'm going to take and chop that up 
What I like to do is put the acapellas down one side here in the fourth slot of my remix deck. But it's up to you and how you want to use it. And remember, you're not limited just to sample and capture from what's in your decks, either A, B, or whatever decks you're using. But you can also go through and find samples that you've bought or collected online. And it's as easy as taking them, clicking, and dragging them up into your remix deck slots. Um, the trick is too though is to make sure that all these samples are on your hard drive, that they are good samples and that your collection is up to date because that can lead to files not being included and not being found when you export your remix deck set and we don't want that because it will flash up red arrows at the bottom of the screen if you try to share these with other people like you should on remixdeckset.com. Um, so from here, once you have your remix deck set built, I always like to come up here, double click, and we can just say remix deck set.com, name it, and then what we want to do here is click, and first we want to save our remix deck set. Once we have it saved, you can go to all your remix deck sets in your collection. We're going to be here at the bottom. And um, be sure you fill in your information too. And it was 128 is our BPM. And that's very important too, is when you're doing your samples, you need to sample everything at the appropriate sample rate. So you can't have a song at 128 and come in here and do um, some more samples at 70. You can do that, but they're going to sound sped up and they're not going to sound right. So try to keep everything in the same BPM range. So once we have all the right information in there, simply just right click and hit export remix set. And then you can see here, I'm just going to save it to my desktop and click save. And from there, it saves it to your hard drive. You just take that one file, and that has all your samples, all your information in there. So if you have a Control F1, that can load up in anyone else's with all your colors. Um, and that's another thing that you can do is just right click and change the colors to the different points that you like. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was informative on helping you get started making your own remix deck sets. Again, this is just how. I work through and do my workflow to create these for my sets. There are many ways you can do it, but this is the basics. If you have any other comments or suggestions or different ways that are faster and better, please leave your comments in the comments below. Again, thank you so much, and please share your Remix Deck Sets on RemixDeckSets.com. Peace.